Hey folks, today we visit the California Academy of Science. One of the most popular exhibits is the rainforest with a butterfly aviary. It was closed for three months in 2023 for maintenance and cleaning. Let's step inside another world. Welcome to San Francisco's rainforest. From the mud-coated forest floor to the light-flooded treetops, living things scurry and grow. It's connected to all of us. The first thing you notice when you step inside this four story rainforest, it's 82 degrees and about 75% humidity, just like a rainforest. This 90 foot diameter dome has over 1,500 plants and animals, including over 250 birds and butterflies. Hi. Hi. We start our tour at the bottom and I work my way up to the top. Rainforests produce about 12% of the oxygen we breathe, yet a size equal to two football fields is destroyed every three seconds. These are golden silk orb weaver spiders and they produce seven types of silk. These spiders are in the open, but biologists feed them in the web so they don't wander. No tree stands alone. Underground, a web of fungi surrounds the root system, creating a close relationship. In exchange for the sugars from the tree, the fungi help roots absorb water and nutrients. High up in the canopy, insects pollinate colorful plants and flowers, allowing the plants to make fruit. Larger animals eat the fruit and spread the seeds. Seeds pass through the fish's digestive system. The plants end up far away from the parent plant, oftentimes. Below the pond is a tube that goes underneath where you can see up from down below. We'll show you that at the end of the video. Here are some bromeliads that grow in the trees. Here's some leaf cutter ants. Brightly colored toxic frogs send a warning to potential predators that they'd make a dangerous meal. Butterflies like to eat fruit that drops on the rainforest floor. You can see that they have brown on the outside blue on the top. Oh, we got a little show off here for the camera. There we go, little guy. Oh yeah, look at, can you see yourself in there? This is the butterfly emergence chamber. These live butterfly sacks come from all over the world so that butterflies can be grown here. Butterflies hatch in the morning. To dry their wings, the butterflies will hang motionless in an upside down orientation for up to several hours. Each afternoon, biologists will retrieve butterflies that have completely dried off, and they're released into the rainforest the following morning. Depending on the species, these butterflies may live for three weeks to six months.
Hey folks, be fantastic. Appreciate your support. We'll see you next time at that place.